All right, next up, as we continue along, Kentucky, Georgia. Uh, we've got Georgia 14 and a half point home favorites, 47 and a half being the total in this game. I'm very tempted to take the 14 and a half here with Kentucky. I really am. I hope there, I don't want to hear letdown. There shouldn't be a letdown. This is Georgia, folks. This is Georgia, your opponent. You shouldn't have a letdown after a big win if you're Kentucky. You should be ready to go. But I, I, I'm at the point now with, with this Georgia team. I've seen enough sloppiness. I've seen enough mistakes. I've seen enough offensive inconsistency from Carson Beck at quarterback and the offense in general, which was stuck in mud for well into the second half of that game against Auburn the last week at home. I might, or it was in Auburn, I should say, but still, I mean, that was not a fluid performance. They've been an overvalued commodity all year. They've covered just one point spread and it was by the skin of their teeth against ball state. You know, they covered by the hook 41 and a half point favorites. They won by 42. Other than that, they haven't covered a number, including against the uh, power five, South Carolina, they only won by 10 as 26-point favorites. 14-point road favorites at Auburn last week. Didn't sniff a point spread cover uh, in that game. So I thought Georgia would turn it up last week uh, against Auburn. And 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 plus, that's an Auburn team that had struggled, Connor Mack. They, they should have lost wow. to California early in the season, Auburn. And yet there's Georgia struggling to pull away and gain separation against Auburn last week. Now, look. The thing that really worries me for Kentucky, even though they're undefeated, 5-0, and 4-1 ATS, Devin Leary's got to step it up. You know, yeah. if they're going to cover this point spread, can I count on them to get 280 on the ground from Ray Davis like they had against Florida? I'm not so sure about that <laughs> against this uh, Georgia run defense. So can Devin Leary step up, make the throws he should make, and keep these drives alive, keep the chains moving when it gets to those second and third down situations here? Uh, because that's going to be those are going to be the critical plays in the football game that give Kentucky a chance to stay within two touchdowns. But I ain't laying 14 and a half with Georgia, not when you've only covered one point spread this year. And it was by the narrowest of margins against a really bad ball state team. Um, so I'm leaning Georgia. Uh, sorry, I'm leaning Kentucky right now, plus 14 and a half. I've just seen no indication of Georgia's, you know, putting their foot on the throat. And to me, you compare Kentucky to Auburn. I think Kentucky's a better football team than Auburn. Uh, I certainly think Kentucky on defense, you know, is a little bit better than Auburn. Mm -hmm. And I think when you look at the uh, offense, Leary, I think I, I expected more out of Leary. I'll be, I'll be honest. He has not overly impressed me this year to Leary for as no. experienced as he is and all those years at NC state, but he knows in this offense, he just has to rely on the defense, rely on Ray Davis and don't make mistakes. If he, I'll tell you what, if there's a, if Devin Leary's, stat line has zero interceptions in this game against Georgia. They're going to cover, I think, and, and stay within two. If he doesn't make mistakes, I think Kentucky can stay within two touchdowns here. Uh, Connor, what do you think here, this SEC match? Yeah, you know, and I've, I'll get to it. But this game, though, first, because we see it in college football all the time, especially like with Kentucky, they're 5-0, and huge win. Now they go on the road, and we're everyone's down on Georgia. And they could get blown out here, which I, I don't think happens this time. But it, that's just the classic uh, kind of move I think this game could have with Kentucky going on the road. One thing was Peyton Thorne, obviously he can't throw it, but he ran it well because that's what he's got to do, something he didn't do uh, against A&M. And they ran for over 220 yards. So if, if Auburn, they were shoving them around, especially early in that first quarter, first half. If Kentucky can do that, and Ray Davis, you know, and then maybe not 280 yards. I mean, he had like 210 at halftime. But if he runs for over 150, at least, I think Kentucky, it's just too many points uh, in this game. I think it can hang around. I've just seen Kentucky do this, though, in the past. So I'm a little, a little leery. Yeah, I mean, this you're is right with uh, with Devin, though. If he can, like, throw, you know, no picks, probably just 200 yards, something like that. They should be right in the game. But I can't guarantee he does that. That's the thing. Know. Because, you know, this is – look, let's be real. Uh, Florida's a nice win. Vanderbilt's a nice win for Kentucky the last two weeks. And I'll still put Georgia's defense leaps and bounds ahead of both of those teams' defense uh -huh. leaps and bounds. So can he navigate these waters on the road – in between the edges and not turn the ball over. That's going to be critical for Kentucky. Uh, and it's a great matchup, though. It's basically your de facto uh, first place battle in the SEC East uh, right now here, Kentucky and Georgia. So 
Um, let's see if Kentucky's ready for this moment. I mean, Mark Stoops has gradually built this program up and up to slowly, gradually to a point where they're in a spot like this. We're ready to take on the big dog, no pun intended here, uh, in the SEC. Let's see how they fare here uh, on the road. I mean, this is going to be yeah. one of the bigger Kentucky football games I can remember. Yeah, that's this is a little different. They've been better, though, on the road. Obviously, number one team in the country going there. But I like how Kentucky's played, even going back to last year and some of these uh, bigger games, at least on the road, where they, you know, maybe sometimes just be out flat or lay an egg. And I mentioned like in Kentucky a little bit, plus 14 and a half. The under might even be a better play uh, in this game. Uh, I could definitely see that here. You know, Auburn, Georgia, uh, that was one where I even talked about it. This might be a good under. Uh, and that one, did that one slide over? It depends on what you got. Uh, I pushed. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it dropped to 44 and a half. So if you bet the under late in that game, it actually, you would have lost. It just barely went over. But I still lean under uh, in this game. I think it probably is a game that could be a little low scoring.